Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, doing something a little different today. I want to talk about perfectionism. Um, this is something that I definitely deal with and I know a lot of other people deal with, so I just felt it would be worth it to just put this out here and we can share with each other and we can just know that you're not alone in this, um, this journey. So, perfectionism, in my experience, can really strangle your creativity it can hold you in this energy of inaction and just feeling bad about yourself and it is a vicious cycle it just goes around and around of feeling worse about yourself and taking less and less action and as you sit there waiting for the perfect time waiting to have the perfect resources waiting to look perfect <laughs> there might be a lot of air quotes in this video who knows um, you're really waiting for something that's never going to come okay um, I hope that's not too harsh um, but perfectionism is just something that first of all is it's different for everyone so you know for me right now I'm putting out a video about perfectionism which is kind of meta um, <laughs> dealing with perfectionism making a video yeah anyway um, you just go around and around and around because it's it's not going to come it's not going to happen you in this life are not going to be perfect so what you can do is you can act in the now you can understand that where you are is good enough you are good enough um, even if you're learning and growing let me just scratch my ear but that's fine um, even if you're learning and growing, you are allowed to and you deserve to share your voice. You are allowed, I'm slouching so bad, that's so funny. Um, but you're allowed to share your voice and you're allowed to share your journey on top of that just because, you know, you think, oh, I might be better in the future. That doesn't diminish where you are now. Instead, we could look at it like, I'm happy for my growth. I'm happy that I will have future growth. But in the meantime, I can act from where I am in the now. I can act from the moment instead of waiting for this like, if, what if, what if, what if, woulda, coulda, shoulda. You end up having all these regrets because you never take action because again, the perfection is just not gonna come. Let me look at my notes. Yeah, so as I was saying, you know, when you're waiting for that perfect moment, you're waiting for that perfect time to get perfect at whatever it is you're doing, you get stuck in this stagnant energy. And talking it from a little more of a woo um, spiritual, like my channel is kind of centered around, um, it can also cause a lot of, you know, energy blockages. And then you really, as I said, it's just a cycle. Like it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like you keep telling yourself, I'm not perfect, so I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to put myself out there. I'm not good enough to share because I'm not perfect when truthfully, I'm just gonna tell you that's not true. You are good enough right now. It's about the journey. I feel like I'm quoting Miley, like, but it's true, it is. It's about the journey, it's about the climb. It is not about the destination. There is not some pinnacle that you'll reach and you'll think, yep, that's it. I'm done. There's no more to do just by the nature of being a beautiful soul, having a beautiful human experience. There is always learning and changing and growth to be done. Yeah, so just to show you that like I'm definitely here with you in my experience, I'm always thinking, well, what if I don't cover every angle? Well, that's impossible, okay? <laughs> what if I don't talk about every aspect there could be to talk about? What if I stumble over my words? What if I don't look perfect or I could just act or you could just accept like you know what this is what I look like today this is the information I have today and I'm allowed to share that part of my journey with people that's beautiful in and of itself sharing that you are where you are and that future you is just full of so much what if there's full of so much assumptions there's full of so much you know, implications that where you are now is bad instead of where you are is, is, you know, it's good enough to act. 
and our whole life is a journey. So what are we doing in every moment other than sharing where we are in our path, in our journey, in our soul's growth and development? So when you look at it from that, at least for me, that's something that really helped me to kind of free from the, <laughs> you know, kind of, honestly, it felt like a chokehold and it's very freeing once you just... Well, I'm not going to lie and pretend there's not really a, a leap of faith that's involved sometimes. I'm not going to pretend that like, oh, I realized all these things and now it's easy. Uh, honestly, just sitting here right now and doing this is uncomfortable. Um, it's a little scary, um, but it's also fine. It's very, you know, it goes, it goes both ways. And your passion, your drive, what you feel is your calling, where you are right now, again, that's what really shines through. And I know that sounds corny to some people, but maybe you'll have kind of an epiphany like I did and you realize yeah that kind of sounds corny but it's it's also kind of right like I don't have to shoot for these impossible standards of like oh this is what's good enough because that's what someone else said or this is good enough because that's what I see everyone else doing if you're true to yourself if you're authentic to yourself and what you feel you're supposed to be doing that's good enough and you know a little kind of ps for those who are worried about criticism worried about getting like you know the haters on the internet um if you are feeling called to do something like this and put your your content out there there might be there might be people who criticize you there might be people who give you a ton of thumbs downs and i'm not going to pretend that that doesn't make me feel bad it still makes me feel bad sometimes but you can also pull yourself out of it. It can affect you less and less and less and less. Like I, I'm definitely less affected by it than when I first started uh, my channel and earlier on in my life, definitely, oh my goodness. Um, when you realize if someone's criticizing you for not being perfect or for not being at their very specific standard, that's so on them, that is, Again, this is something that's kind of cliche, it's said all the time, but that's because it's true. When someone reacts that negatively, all you're doing is expressing yourself and trying to help people. You're trying to fulfill what you believe is your life purpose and just up uplift people in most cases. If someone attacks you for that, that is so on them. That is so a reflection of them and where they are and has nothing to do with you not being good enough even if that's what they're saying okay yeah and what what you do doesn't have to look like what everyone else is doing um in fact you know another cliche thing is that our differences are what make us beautiful our imperfections are what make us unique and beautiful and it's, it's worth sharing even if you think like especially like you know it applies elsewhere but especially when you're looking at like social media or other online content where you see like there's a standard of how things are done well who set that standard i mean just do what you feel called to do in the way that you feel called to do express yourself where you are like i decided to get cozy on my bed in a flannel with some crystals and just like talk i didn't even turn my ring light on because i didn't feel like it and I'm just like sharing what I have to share and if you resonate with that, that's great. If you don't, that's fine as well. Watch something you do resonate with. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I have to say. TLDR, you are good enough, you are beautiful enough. Where you are now is fine, even if you know sometimes it's uncomfortable. If people are criticizing you for just trying your best, that's on them. So that's what I have to say about that. And I'm going to leave it as that imperfect, perfect <laughs> example of what I was talking about, hopefully. And I'll talk to you guys next time.